A change in ball possession always presents a mental challenge. When a team that was previously defending suddenly has to switch to attack, success often hinges on the first few seconds. In this critical moment, the opponent also seeks to exploit the situation. Some fall back defensively, while others immediately attempt to regain possession of the ball. It's not always clear if a quick counterattack is possible. Players need to first assess, where are the opponents? Where are their teammates positioned? Is a deep pass an option? A successful counterattack can't be forced, and sometimes players only realize if the opportunity exists after their initial actions. Right after winning the ball, players need to be prepared for both a counterattack and a longer possession phase. The principles they need to follow in these first moments are really important and make a big difference in whether they can take control of the game or not. Breaking away from opponents, spreading out in position, depth and width in the final line, escaping the pressure, the second pass determines. After winning possession, the initial instinct should be to create space from the nearest opponents. This allows players to establish passing options, crucial for initiating a counter-attack or retaining possession. Keeping the ball within the team's control is essential, it's only when it circulates within our ranks that we maintain possession. The transition phase ends when all players are in their attacking positions. So, it's important to quickly switch from defense to attack during this moment. Even if a quick counter isn't possible, the team can use this time to create space. If a counter isn't on, players should move into their attacking roles right away. In a counter-attack, creating depth is crucial. Strikers offer themselves as options for passes behind the defense, which helps push back the opponent's defense. Ideally, a pass behind the defense is successful, but even if not, the strikers keep the opponent's defense busy. Regardless, at least one player should immediately make a deep run. Width is equally important. It can initiate a quick counterattack. If the wide option isn't available, proper positioning becomes crucial for the rest of the attack. Especially when the opponent has a weakened rest defense, forcing them wide can be beneficial. After winning the ball, spreading out wide right away can help avoid opponent pressure. Opponents don't usually relax after losing the ball. Before they defend, they try to get the ball back quickly. This tactic, called counterpressing, is important in modern football. Teams get ready to pressure right after losing the ball. In fact, many teams anticipate losing possession as part of their plan to initiate counterpressing swiftly. La Masia, often considered the most famous football academy globally, teaches its players a key rule, the second pass is crucial. Barcelona's philosophy states that the player who recovers the ball doesn't have to start a counterattack right away. Their job is done when they quickly and accurately pass the ball to the next teammate. Meanwhile, the next player can decide if a counterattack is possible by looking at where opponents and teammates are, and the available spaces. This principle, the second pass determines whether a team counterattacks or retains possession, is flexible. However, especially in tight situations, this principle makes sense. After all, it's challenging for the player who wins the ball to focus on both the ball recovery and the transition moment. 